In this video, I'm going to navigate you through some of the areas within the Power Platform components uh, to view what components get installed once you have the Omni channel installed within your environment. Now, uh, there are multiple areas through which you can navigate to view. One is the app section within the Power Apps, which will help you find out the Dynamics 365 apps. Uh, PPAC Power Platform Admin Center, whereby you can see what all components are installed with related to Omni Channel. Uh, M365 Admin Center, uh, the kind of licensing which is needed for setting up the Omni Channel infrastructure. Uh, and, uh, you know, like again, uh, apps for digital messaging trials. So, So I'm in make.powerapps.com and here, if you go to apps and try to find out omni-channel, okay? Omni-channel, okay? The moment you type omni-channel, you will find these three different apps which gets installed as a part of installation, okay? So that is omni-channel for customer service, omni-channel administration, omni-channel admin center. Now, here, one thing to uh, make note of it that uh, Omni Channel for Customer Service is the only app which you are going to use. Okay. Omni Channel Administration and Omni Channel Admin Center um, eventually will get retired and you may not use that. Okay. But how do you then manage Omni Channel for Customer Service? Now, you can uh, use an, another app for, from a customer service. It's called the Customer Service Admin Center. Okay, so customer service admin center is an app which you're going to use to, you know, even configure and administer the uh, omni channel experience. So that's about the apps within Power Apps. If you navigate to Power Platform Admin Center, okay, under environments, or uh, if you navigate to the customer service uh, environment which where you have installed the solution you can go to resources dynamics 365 apps and then once you are in this app you will see a lot of component in the back end which is installed or which is supporting the execution of dynamics 365 omni channel okay so you, you might find a lot of dynamics 365 app but if i search for omni channel okay you will see a whole bunch of apps which is being you know uh, defined Okay, so now here, uh, if you see, uh, there is Omni Channel for Customer Service, Omni Channel for Customer Service Base, C C A A S APIs, uh, Omni Channel for Customer Service Facebook. So that's about chat, Facebook, outbound SMS, social channels, Teams, and Omni Channel Power Virtual Agent extensions. So. So this is uh, where you get all those omni-channel related uh, features. And then if you want to further configure it, you can click on this uh, uh, icon and then go for details or uh, you can manage this thing. Okay, now here you can't manage this particular applications. If you see here, it's, it, it's only coming as details, right? Now, he, it will show you what kind of package and what kind of version has been installed. Okay, so if you go to Teams, Omni Channel for Customer Service Team, you will see the version number and the package which is installed for Omni Channel for Customer Service Team. If you want, if you want to manage this, so then there is an another place where you can navigate. You go to Resources and under Dynamics 365 Apps. Again, here you will see that same list which we have seen while clicking on the environment. And here again, if I type in Omni Channel for Customer Service. Here you can manage, you can manage that particular application. Okay, so you can manage Omni Channel for customer service and that will take you to the management screen uh, to configure various channels. Okay, so I'm going to cover that in the uh, upcoming videos. Okay, again, the third part, if we go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, now again, I told you before you install Dynamics 365 Omni Channel for customer service, you need to have customer service enterprise application defined. Okay, you need to have that uh, uh, enterprise uh, application uh, license available for your users. Okay, so this is the first requirement. Now, once you have this requirement fulfilled, then you need to enable an app. Okay, so again, going back to Dynamics, uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I'm in users and I'm opened one of the users and under licenses in an app. Uh, here you will see Dynamics 365 Customer Service Enterprise V-Trial, okay? And uh, 
under apps you may find one more add-ons which is being enabled which is related to dynamics 365 is this one dynamics 365 customer service digital messaging v trial okay so this is very much essential you need to enable that and once you have all these things enabled within your tenant or environment then definitely you will be able to access uh, most of the functionality within omnichannel application and uh, i'll just show you how this application will look like so that's omnichannel for uh, customer service application will look like i'm not going to explain that application now but then i'm just showing you uh, the three different application which may get uh, created or generated uh, uh, as a part of the model driven application like omnichannel admin center omnichannel administration omnichannel for customer service so all these three application will get installed okay and then you can navigate through those applications so that's it folks this is all about setting up omnichannel and then navigating through various components within microsoft 365 admin center power platform admin center power as to view what all components get installed in the backend for omnichannel thanks for watching